Welcome back to Hamilton of Crypto. Let's jump straight into the charts right here, right now. If we are going to look at this just on a blunt scale, we can see our triangle that we've been talking about for a while now. Uh, we did also see this break down this morning for me. I'm not sure what time it would have been for you guys, but uh, yeah, maybe Sunday night. Um, and again, weekends is going to be a lot less reliable, and we're seeing that with a potential bear trap coming through if we do want to head up a bit, bit higher here. I wouldn't really call this a bear trap unless we get above, I would even say 40k to be honest, guys. Um, but with that said and done, uh, what we can see here is this happening just a bit too quickly to get in a short. It was a five minute trade, as we say. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you did get in, congratulations. There was a pivot around here in which you could have taken profit at, right? But uh, looking at this this morning for me, I basically said, hey, um, if we break this low again, I'll be looking for a 1% trade down. That did not happen, but that is still a valid trade. If we do want to come down from this point, that will be the trade that I'm looking for. But uh, honestly, I, I'm pretty sure we would put in a low first. And I could target that low for the entry instead if that is the case but uh, looking at this right now it's looking a lot better it's looking a lot like uh, this was a, a weekend bear trap before potentially banging it towards the upside um, a little bit too early to say here on that and if you are looking at traditional TA and you're taking into the if you're not taking into account that it's a weekend right then uh, you would say this is uh, a measure move that's began and you would say this is the target 35k I don't think that's plausible just yet. Again, I don't really trade weekends. I don't have a lot of faith in the weekend times here. But um, what we can say is if it does break this low, yeah, I will be looking for that short. That's that's a given. And also this this area here is a great area for a short as well. So uh, from 37.1, if we don't catch this one on the way down, then I'll be looking for basically from 37 down to 35, which is uh, just a monstrous amount of cash, just, just money everywhere. If that is going to happen, that would be great. And uh, yeah, apart from that, guys, um, if we can get back into this area, 40k, uh, that's that's basically basically coinciding with what we were saying with the momentum here before, right? Uh, so again, volume. Um, but yeah, volume moving averages here. If the blue one goes underneath, it's more indicative of us going sideways or trappy action. Uh, and that has come into fruition here as this has been contracting, right? And that has not begun a wave up here. Uh, we did get a bit of volume on that initial move, but not enough really. And if we'd have got back above these moving averages, then I'd be a lot more uh, faithful towards this, uh, this move towards the downside. But at the moment, yeah, it's just looking like another trap and it's looking like uh, just more sideways to come through. Uh, we'll see how this goes though. It is still pretty pretty choppy times as you can see uh, if we can get above that 40k and I'll just say it again looking pretty good here uh, what I will say as well here this measure move isn't as good now uh, and the reason why is because we do the most recent wave here for the measure move so if I can drag this up there is still a trade here if we do want to uh, just parley on up here um, yeah it would be from around this 42 area just outside the trap zone all the way up here to basically 43 uh, a little take profit in the middle at 42.5 um, so yeah that, that would be the trade I'd be looking for there but yeah not as big as the uh, the, the previous uh, potential trade that we saw before with this pattern and the reason for that is again the most recent wave is going to be the most valid so we're just going to see how this behaves see how it reacts and then act accordingly but uh, it's looking more and more coiled up here and that's a good sign that means that we're getting closer and closer to a trending breakout potentially so uh, yeah we will look forward to that and that is going to be the easiest time to trade so subscribe give it a like let me just get this back there we go Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Just subscribe, give it a like. I will see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic Monday. Start the week off with a bit of momentum here, guys. Peace out. Goodbye. From Hamilton.